Uh, welcome to Accounting Works uh, little tax update here. We're talking about the unemployment that's been extended uh, by the uh, American Rescue Plan and the $10,200, which was made tax free retroactively to 2020. My name is Lee Reams, and I'll be the one discussing this with you today. So, start out with a little, little background here. In late February, Senator Dick Durbin, Democrat from Illinois, and Representative Cindy Axe, Democrat of Iowa, introduced legislation that would make a portion of the unemployment income tax exempt because we know it, it normally it's, it's tax, fully taxable. Anyway, during the Senate debate, Durbin and Axe's uh, legislation got rolled into the President Biden's American Rescue Plan Act, uh, which we have a new acronym for it is ARPA. Legislation exempts the first $10,200 of unemployment benefits of each individual taxpayer from tax, so long as their modified AGI in the tax return is under $150,000. So unless the IRS decides to automatically adjust already filed 2020 tax returns, amended returns can be filed. And it's kind of doubtful that they'll do that because uh, I just don't think they will. Anyway. In some cases, children have, have received unemployment benefits, uh, which for the kitty tax purposes is treated as unearned income, taxed at their parents' top tax rate. And the uh, American Rescue Plan provided no special treatment other than the $10,200 exclusion for that situation. Now, what about the states? Now, some states tax it, some don't, and some tax part of it. So here's a little uh, update here for you. So uh, I have a table here where each state is listed, whether they have a state tax or not, and if they tax the unemployment. So for instance, Alabama, they do uh, have a state tax and they do tax it. Alaska, no. California, yes. Florida, no. Montana, yes. Nevada, no. New Hampshire, no. But New Hampshire uh, uh, has a special uh, even though they don't have an income tax, they only have, they do tax interest and dividends. So New Jersey, yes. Pennsylvania, yes. North Dakota, no. And Tennessee, no. Texas, uh, no. Virginia, yes. Washington, no. And Wyoming, no. So those states do not tax unemployment. The two states do tax it, but only tax half of it. And that's in Indiana and Wisconsin, and they tax amounts above twelve thousand for single payer and eighteen thousand for married taxpayers, uh, which can be an issue because a lot of people have unemployment here that's got significantly higher those amounts now. The remaining states fully tax unemployment benefits. So, but now you got to be careful here because some of these states may decide to conform to the new uh, legislation. So. Kind of keep an eye on it. This just gives you an update for what it is right now. So, so the last comments here. We know taxpayers are eager for the refunds, and and a lot of taxpayers have been tax repairs have been holding up, uh, finishing their refund and their returns, waiting to find out about this exclusion. And next next issue is: Will the IRS have spe some special exclusion procedure? I mean, even though we know we're going to exclude the ten thousand two hundred, can we file these returns yet? Well. We don't know. We still have to wait for your software vendors to program a change. So still got a little, little waiting to do, but uh, at least we know where we're headed. So, okay, take care. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.